the ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! <laughs> Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today, we'll meet two animals who can really make a lot of noise. Oh, <laughs> oh you must be my cousin, Smelly and Nelly. Their mom always yells at them for making so much noise. No, Stinky, I'm talking about the toad and the elephant seal. Do their moms yell at them, too? No, Stinky. You see, the toad and the elephant seal make lots of noise to attract a mate. Oh, well... What's a mate? Oh, well, for them, it, it would be a girl toad or a girl elephant seal. Oh. In your case, it would be a girl skunk. <gasps> you mean I could meet a girl skunk just by making a lot of noise? Well, it might work. Oh, uh, you who? Hey, girl skunk! No, you who? Over no, here! No, sti over stinky, here. stinky. Hmm? You have to be much louder than that. Oh, okay. Uh, you who? Girl skunk! Hey, uh, girl uh, skunk! We'll be right girl back. Girl skunk! <laughs> hey, is there a girl skunk back in there? And now it's time for... That's amazing! <laughs> Ooh, now that's what I call loud. Today we travel to Asia to find one of the loudest animals in hmm. the world. Hmm. The sea man. The, the what a man? The sea man. Thanks to the big pouch under his chin, this animal's call can be heard for miles. Yeah, it must save a bundle on phone bills. The sea man's call tells other animals that this is his territory and it helps him to attract a mate. Well, sounds like a real swinging guy. <laughs> the sea man. Yeah, another one of them loudmouth animals that'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! Hey, Jake, how's this? Hello! Oh, uh, it's loud. Uh, now see if you can attract a mate. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, you hoo girl skunks! Hello, hello, it's the Stinkmeister. Come out, come out wherever you are. Nothing. Well, maybe our first guest can help. And here he is, all the way from ponds around the world. Burrow. Buffo the Toad. <laughs> Good day. It is indeed a pleasure to be here on your program. Shall we go to the, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I was wondering, who was making that infernal noise? <laughs> oh, oh, well, that was me. I was just trying to get a date. Mm. Yeah, oh, thank you, Bunny. <laughs> thank you. You see, my dear skunk, that is not how you call a mate. You must use your vocal sac. See, this under my chin? Whoa, mm -hmm, cool! Mm -hmm. This is what you need to make a truly loud call. Well, skunks don't have a vocal sac, do we? Uh, well, may I no. suggest you get one? Great oh. idea! Excuse mm. me, Jake. Well, mm. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, meanwhile, Buffo, yes. why don't you tell us all about toads? Oh, of course, Jake. It would be my pleasure. Oh, goody. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Ah, yes. <laughs> and this is one of the very best places to look for toads. The pond. Now, what kind of toad is that? Oh, that is a common toad. And that is a natajack toad, about to devour a caterpillar. Watch, look. <laughs> Amazing tongue action. <laughs> yes, that is how most toads catch their food. This tree toad can sneak up on its prey. It has little suction cups on its feet that allow it to leap from leaf to leaf. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Of course, not all toads live at the pond. For instance, this spadefoot toad lives in the desert. Wow, now how does it find food in the desert? Oh, there's enough food if you know where to look. Uh, see that beetle crawling nearby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this, watch this. Oh! <gasps> yes. Mm. Whoa! Now, now, why is he blinking like that? Oh, well, uh, some toads push their eyeballs down into their head because it helps them to swallow their food. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, we toads must swallow our food whole because we have no teeth. So you use your eyeballs to help you swallow? Isn't that what I said? Well, that's what you said. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, I'm back. Hey, Bufo, what do you think? <gasps> oh, excellent, Stinky. <laughs> now that you, you have a vocal sack, I will show you how to use it. Ah, oh, there is a square mock toad. Look at that style. Listen to that tone. Magnificent. See how it fills its sack with air? That's how it can send its call great distances. Uh, try it, Stinky. Okay. Uh, honk! How was that? Painful. Oh. Now, how far can a toad's call be heard? For well over a mile. Of course, that can cause problems by attracting animals that attack the toad. Well, what do you do if you're attacked? We fill our sack with air. It makes us look much larger, and that can scare some animals away. But if that doesn't work, 
toad secrete a poison that will paralyze our enemies. Heek! How was that? Speaking of poison, Stinky, why don't you practice that over there? Mm. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh. Uh, let me show you how we go from egg to toad. Oh. Yes, those are toad eggs, about 50 eggs. And that is a midwife toad. The midwife toad is special because once the mother toad lays her eggs, it's the father who carries them around until they hatch. Mm. Oh, now, now what is that? That's a male common toad fertilizing eggs being laid by a female. Oh. They lay their eggs in strings, as many as 8,000 eggs at a time. Wow. Yes, yes. Oh, look, uh, baby pictures. <laughs> 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 yes, those are tadpoles. At first, a tadpole is nothing more than a mouth, eyes, and a tail. Then, over two to four weeks, its legs begin to develop. And after about six weeks, the tadpole absorbs the tail into his body and becomes a full-fledged toad. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, uh, hoink! How is that? Um, keep practicing. Uh, I better get hopping. Uh, thanks for coming, Bufo. Um, 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 oh, um, Stinky! Um, mm. Could you stop that for now, please? Uh, why, Jake? Because it's time for... <gasps> baby, baby talk. talk. Hey, everyone. It's a nice day. We're all here. What do you say we have a party? Oh, good idea. We elephant seals love parties. OK, great. So let's start our party now. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait for me. I'm coming. The party pup is on his way. I'll be there in a jiff. Oh, good. Here comes Everly. We're waiting for Everly. Oh, you can't have a party without Everly. <laughs> don't rush, Everly. You might hurt yourself. Uh, don't worry, Ma. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fit. Oh, that's my boy. OK. Here I am. It's party time. <laughs> Oh, I love parties, don't you? Honk! Hink! Hink! Honk! Honk! Any sign of a girl skunk yet? Nope, not even a girl toad. <sighs> well, well, here are some animals that might be able to help. Listen up. Run to me, squeak to me. Find some way to speak to me. Ain't it great? Communicate with me. Make a sound, howl around, beat your feet upon the ground. Ain't it great? Communicate with me. Rub your wings, chirp and sing, do all kinds of noisy things. Ain't it great? Communicate with me. Fill your lungs and let it go. Ain't it great? Communicate with me. Come on, ain't it great? Communicate with me. Maybe I'm not loud enough. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Stinky and Jake. Hi, Dizzy. What? Are you ready for a quiz? Uh, say, I know. Uh, why don't you give us a quiz? Here it is. all these sounds. Is it the kingfisher, the woodpecker, or the starling? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Uh, Stinky, did, did you hear Tizzy's question? Oh, yeah. She wants to know which one of those birds made all those sounds. Oh, very good. Uh, do you know the answer? Well, sure, but I'll let Tizzy tell you. Take it away, Tiz! Oh. Thanks, Stinky. The bird which makes all these sounds is... The Starling! It's hard to believe, but it's true! Not all birds use their call to attract attention. Some birds, like this kingfisher, use vivid colors. Most kingfishers have brightly colored feathers with patches of blue, green, purple, and red. The hoopoe has interesting plumage and a distinctive call. Listen! The peacock is famous for its beautiful tail, which it shows off at every opportunity. Oh, it's so beautiful! Yeah. 
Look at that beak. It's attached to a toucan. There's no way you'd miss seeing that bird. And here are some storks. What do you think they're saying to each other? Hello? Or goodbye? And what do you think this is? You're right, it's a woodpecker. You can always hear a woodpecker when it goes looking for food. And listen to these kestrel chicks begging for food. And Mom get the message. Flamingos communicate with each other by doing a kind of dance where they jump up and down. Do you believe it? Well, it's true. You know, Stinky, uh, there's more than one way to attract a mate. There is? Do mm -hmm. you tell? Well, I can't, but I bet our next guest can. Goody. And here he is, all the way from the Antarctic. Antarctic. Monty, the elephant seal. It is I, Monty the Seal. Ooh. So good to see you, and indeed to be seen, as oh. it were. <laughs> you must be Jake. Oh, they're welcome, Monty. And you, well, you must be in pain. What happened to your chin, oh. Oh, skunk? Oh, oh, now this is to help me attract a mate. Mm. Oh, pish posh and double draft. That won't work. Stinky, you need a prominent proboscis. A uh, what? Uh, uh, a big nose. Oh, oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now that's how you attract a mint. Oh, oh, all right. Well, I'll be right back. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, Monty, why don't you tell us about your prominent proboscis? <laughs> what you mean, my big nose? Exactly. <laughs> I'd be delighted. Oh, good. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, there we are, resting on the beach. Mm. Frankly, we elephant seals are rather clumsy on land. In the water, of course, we're as graceful as can be. Well, why do you come on land at all? To mate and to have our pups. Now then, listen to that. He's sending out his call. Marvelous. Wow. So, so, so his nose is like an elephant's trunk, and that's why you're called elephant seals. Precisely. Mm. And there's also the fact that some of us weigh almost as much as an elephant. About two and a half tons, I dare say. Uh, well, now, so to make a call, you just inflate your nose with air and then you bellow. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't mm, it? Yes. An elephant seal's bellow can be heard for miles. And it's very effective for attracting mates and scaring off everyone else. Now, do all elephant seals have large noses like that? No, they don't. Only the adult male elephant seal has a nose that impressive, and it takes him eight years to learn how to make that kind of bellow. Eight years? <gasps> you better not let Stinky know it's gonna take that long. Oh, it's not a problem. We'll have that glad bellowing in no time. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm afraid of. I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> Stinky, is that you? The things we do for love, eh, Jake? <laughs> oh, yeah. good so, Stinky. Now, let's get you started. Watch this elephant seal in action. Oh, OK. Now then, you see that fellow in the background? Yeah. That is a male elephant seal. And those seals around him are his mates. A single elephant seal can have as many as 50 different mates. Gee, his mates don't seem too thrilled to see him. Oh, nonsense. I'm sure they're just playing hard to get. Well, the way he moves, almost anything would be hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> But the elephant seal is ever on guard uh, and always ready to charge off in a never-ending quest for adventure. Well, do I have to crawl on my belly like that to get a mate? No, but you do have to practice your call. Wow. He's good. Let me try that. Ahem. Heek, heek, heek. How's that? Um, I've heard worse, I think. <laughs> you have? That's great. You see, Jake, it's gonna work. <laughs> oh, but Stinky, finding a mate isn't a romance. There's danger, too. The danger? Oh, yes, indeed. See here, this chap is chasing off another seal who wants to steal his mate. Well, looks like he convinced him pretty fast. <laughs> oh, yes, good so. Of course, sometimes they don't scare so easy, and two big elephant seals will have a battle. Well, does anyone get hurt? Oh, the ones who usually get hurt are innocent bystanders. When four tons of seal are doing battle, it's best to step aside. Yeah. I remember that. And, uh, and don't come back, you charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> well, Monty, <laughs> thanks for being here today, all right? Yeah. No, oh, it was delightful, Jake. And Stinky, remember this. It's the nose that makes the noise. Hey, <laughs> that sounds like a song. It is. <laughs> Here's Monty the elephant seal singing, Make a noise with your nose. <laughs>
<laughs> Make a noise with your nose And give it one of those blues If a leader you'll be On the land or the sea Just make sure that it shows And make a noise with your beak If it's your way to speak but if everyone knows you're a star of the shows, make a noise with your nose. The humble toad puffs out his throat, a throaty, croaking, bloating note. Little of wonder how I gloat, knowing the things that I know. Make a noise with your nose. And give it one of those blows. If a leader you'll be on the land or the sea, make a noise with your nose. Nose. <laughs> and now it's time for animal <laughs> earplugs. <laughs> Today on Animal Woods, we're looking for the loudest. Yippee! Is it you? No, Armstrong. <laughs> it's one of these animals. Mm. Is it the toad? Hmm. Is it the CMA? Or is it the elephant seal? And the winner for loudest animal is the CMA! Mm. Yippee! Ooh, I still think the award should go to you. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hey, Jake, oh. I know what I have to do to attract a girl skunk. Take a bath? No, I have to make more noise. I'll be right back. <laughs> more noise? Oh, scary. Cousin Jakey, Cousin yeah, Jakey, Jake. tell us a story. Yeah, us oh, sure, yeah, settle down. Oh. Everybody comfortable? Yeah. Okay. okay. Today's story is called The Croaking Concert. Oh. <laughs> Once upon a time in a swamp in Malawi, Frogs and toads from near and far gathered together for the annual croaking concert. All sorts of frogs and toads came to listen. There were big ones, small ones, ones with fat stripes, ones with thin stripes, and they couldn't wait for the concert to begin as they clamored to get the best seats. Finally, the first toad started to croak. He was followed by another, and another, but the highlight of the evening was when Sheldon, the shyest toad in the swamp, started to sing. He had a lovely croak. All the other frogs and toads joined in, croaking and croaking all night long. And everyone in the audience agreed that this was the best croaking concert ever. And they all croaked, Happily ever after. The end. Oh, uh, thank you, cousin boy, Jake. Good, good story. Yeah, thanks, Jake. Bye. See you later, buddy. What? <laughs> hey, Jake. I'm ready, baby. This new Loudomatic Mate Attractor is guaranteed to make me heard by every girl skunk in the world. Uh, Are you ready? Uh, wait. Uh, uh, okay. Here it goes. <laughs> 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 Okay, all you female chicken hawks out there, prepare to hear your mate. Hubba hubba! Hiya, I'm strong! Oh. Oh, are you ready for our trip through the door to anywhere, to a rare and exotic habitat? No, but I have no choice, so where are we going today? To a golf course! A, a golf course? Yep. I'm not going to a golf course. What animals live on a golf course? Well, I hear there are some nice birds there. I'm right behind you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Don't you think a golf course would be a great place to live? Lots of space and lots of water. What about lots of birds? Lots of wood ants. Don't get too close. They bite. Hey, rabbit, hey, hey. Watch out for the ants, huh? This golf course has lots of pretty flowers. Look at these prim little orchids. Aren't they pretty? Eh. All right. The flowers attract moths and butterflies. Hmm. 
here. Well, I still don't see any birds. No, but there's a snake. Adders often sunbathe in the rough at the edge of the green, but because they're shy, you don't often see them. Yeah, well, that's fine with me. Come on, let's go find some birds, huh? Come on. Look, there's a pond. Ah, some water lilies. Mm-hmm. A bad shot. <laughs> a deer. More rabbits! Oh, now that's more like it. Hello, honey. How are you today? Oh, that's a skylark nesting in the grass. Hmm. Oh, hey, that's a magpie looking at a golf ball. <laughs> and there is a common yellow-breasted golfer. Oh. oh, hey, hey, and there's that magpie again. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? What? All I see is a family of geese. No, no, no. Oh, nah, what's that crazy bird doing? Look. Burying the golf ball to dig up later. That's nuts. I'd rather hang out here with these swans. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, 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 did, look there. Did you see that? Oh, I want to go play with those badgers. No, Bonnie, forget the badgers. Look over here, look. A sweet little owl, the bird of my dreams. Oh. Oh, I'm strong. The badgers want us to play with them. Oh, hey, baby. Ooh. On second thoughts, maybe they're too busy eating voles and mice to play with us. Huh? What? Come on, Armstrong. Let's go home. Hey, do you think she followed us? Who? The owl. Of course not. Why would she follow us? For habitat time, it's hmm. Bunny Bear. And Armstrong, the very disappointed chicken hawk. From the golf course. Hey, uh, do you think she'd love me if I learned to putt? Uh. What is going on? Oh, well, I am making this call, hoping to attract some cute girl skunk. Oh, do you still want to hear a quiz? Well, anything's better than Stinky's call. <laughs> Jake. OK, here it is. The question is, which animal makes this sound? Is it a toad, a whale, a dolphin, or a hyrax? Give it a think. I'll be back in a buzz. Well, Stinky, do you know which animal made that sound? I'm sorry, Jake. Right now, all I can think about is love. Oh. Ready for the answer, you two? Mm -hmm. Is the answer love? Aw, uh, sorry, Stinky. This time, the answer is... The Hyrax. <laughs> That's what makes that unbelievable sound. Thanks, Tizzy. And thanks to Bunny and Armstrong and our very special guest, Bufo the Toad and Monty the Elephant Seal. Goodbye, Stinky. Goodbye, Jake. <laughs> Hi. I'm here to meet the handsome young skunk that made that call. But all I see is a polar bear and you, whatever you are. Oh, well. Oh, I was too nervous to talk to her! Oh, no! Well, uh, 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 keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe next time. I <laughs>